Welcome back everyone. In this section, we will add a payment portal to our application. And to do that, we will integrate Stripe to process these payments. So Stripe API is simply an API for handling payment processes. It is very easy to work with and trustworthy. And it is easy to integrate with various platforms and programming languages, which makes it one of the most popular APIs for processing payments. And the most important thing is, it is secure. So if you think of the payment scenario, to be able to handle it, you will need to make the UI for it, and then handle validations for the name and the card number, whether it is valid or not and check the expiration of the card to make sure it is in the future and make sure the card is not a fraud and lots of things to think about. Well, life is much easier than that. To skip all this Stripe, let's use Checkout.js, which will give you the UI and will handle all this for you as it securely accepts your customer's payment details and directly passes them to Stripe's servers. And then the servers will return a token that we will be able to use to complete the payment on our backend, which will be, in our case, an Azure function. So let's get started. We will open stripe.com, then click on Create Account, then Enter here our information and hit create. And in here we will choose integrate with Stripe's API. And here is our dashboard. If we click on get your API keys, here you will see publishable key and a secret key. We will use the publishable key in our form and the secret key will be used server side in the Azure function to complete the payment as we will see in the coming lecture. And of course, it is important to encrypt and secure the secret key. So remember always to do that. So the next step here is we go to business settings in the left bottom in here and we click on checkout and we will click enable checkout for our account to be able to use it in our forms for payments. And in here you can find the documentation for how to integrate checkout to your application. If you click on payments in the left here, then click on checkout, you will see the detailed steps. So in here is the code that you need to copy to create your form. And there is a custom one in here and we will use this code to integrate. So going back to our code, I created a JS file for the checkout model and I added the publishable key in here as a variable and the amount that will be binded when I get the cart items in this function, which calls the Azure function that we created before for getting the cart items. And I just calculated the total amount and binded to the amount variable. So I calculated the total and in the load function here, I added the JavaScript code that I copied from the documentation page and I binded the key with the observable variable I created in here, and I also binded the amount. And in this function, I will be able to send the token to our Azure function, as we will see later. And in the checkout.html, I removed all the existing template code from the content, and I added the script tag for including the checkout.js and purchase button. And these lines are copied as well from the documentation page. So let's try it out and see how it looks so far. So here is the cart page. And if we click check out here, I redirect him to the checkout page. And there is just a button called purchase. If you click on it, you will see the checkout form with the input fields to add your payment information and the amount is binded and all works fine. And of course, you can make an order summary or enhance the look of the page. But for the scope of our course, we will keep it as a button like this. So now that we handled the UI and integrated the checkout to our application, 